Welcome, Mark Thompson here at the Prospects Camp for the Philadelphia Flyers. I'm along with head coach Larry Corval. We're in Voorhees, New Jersey at the Flyer Skate Zone. And coach coming down, taking a look at some of the young prospects here for the Flyers. What do you hope to accomplish here this week at Prospects Camp? Well, we're hoping to uh, see some players that could fall, fall potentially to our level. There's a few kids here uh, that could potentially play for us in running, but also we like to have a long-term relationship with the Flyers, so we want to look at their young prospects that they're developing currently and, and hopefully have a good judge of what may play in running in the future. It's probably too early to talk about players for the Royals, but looking out at the camp so far, you've had a chance to kind of look at a couple guys. Anybody stand out for you out at the Flyers prospects camp in these early stages as a guy you're looking at and say, this is a guy to keep an eye on? Well, it's still kind of early, of course, and like we've talked about, there's a lot of kids that are out there right now that can't play in Reading, the, and they have a number of guys that uh, last year played in Anirondack, whether they'll, they'll uh, filter down to us or not. Uh, it's still yet, you know, it's yet to be seen. I'm sure Ron has a, a game plan in place to, to see what happens and add depth throughout the organizations, and, uh, but it's still too early to see. I've, you know, I've, not, I've, I've seen these guys play in the American League. It depends on their young guys coming in and hopefully uh, winning some jobs and maybe filtering guys down. That's the nature of our, our game, and young guys come in and try to still, you know, veteran guys' jobs, and we'll see what happens in the end. I know that they have more and more camps every year. This is the prospects camp. Do you know the next step of development as far as the Flyers are concerned? Do they have a rookie camp and then a, a, a free agent camp? I'm not sure if you know what the, the each stage is. Well, they do have another camp, a couple camps. Well, they have one, uh, of course, as a rookie camp, uh, which I sort of have been involved a little bit with the Flyers because they do uh, a week-long camp. And then they also play an ex or, uh, called a prospect game against Washington Capitals. I believe this year the game will be here in Philadelphia. Uh, because uh, each year they flip-flop between Washington and Philadelphia for the game. So uh, I'll be involved in that camp. That's a camp that we'll see more uh, guys who are eligible to play for, uh, for the Reading Royals and, and, um, and, and some young prospects that also will be involved. So that's a camp that I'll be, uh, be more interested in for me because th those are guys that are going to be playing professional uh, and hopefully uh, we'll see some time in Reading. Do you know when that camp is? I don't have the specific dates. I know it's early September. Uh, I'm sure I'll get that here this week, uh, final dates on that. It's uh, just before the NHL camp will open, and I'm sure some of the kids that are going to be involved in the rookie camp will go also go through their main camp. Mark Thompson here at Flyers Prospect Camp, Voorhees, New Jersey, joined by John Riley of the Philadelphia Flyers, one of the coaches running the camp here. John, looks like things have gone relatively well here in the first couple of days of Prospect Camp for the Flyers. Yeah, we've had uh, you know all the guys get in on Wednesday throughout the day, and then we had our opening meeting, and then uh, you know we got on the ice yesterday as a full group without goalies and just went through some basic fundamental stuff, try to get them, you know, try to get them comfortable with the puck and do some of the, some of the funda fundamentals, excuse me, that we, uh, we want to stress as a club for our young players. One of the decisions the Flyers have made here is, at least in the early goings, to split the forwards with the D, and uh, it's an interesting decision, and uh, what's behind that? Uh, well, we, our first session yesterday was, was both forward and defenseman, uh, as I said, just to get the whole group together and try to send the same message to everybody and be consistent for that first skate. And then for the rest of the weekend here, we're going uh, to go with, you know, as you said, forwards and defensemen split. And, you know, the, the different skill sets that we want to work on for the forwards and for the defensemen. Um, and, and, and really uh, the small groups as well. We have 12 forwards, 13 defensemen here, uh, which is a little heavy on the D side, uh, but it, it works for good, uh, you know, the dichotomy is good there. The numbers are good, we can really stress. We have uh, three or four coaches on the ice with each, with each group, and we can really work with guys, you know, one-on-one -on -one and, and separate them. And, and again, the, the separation between the uh, forward skills and defenseman skills. I suppose part of it is learning how to be a pro off the ice, as a, a pro, and um, being important to be a pro on the ice, but being a pro off the ice as well. Yeah, we we we've stressed that, and, we, and we've tried to make that make that very clear to the guys that uh, you know if you want to if you want to be a pro, you got to be a pro. It's cliche, obviously, uh, but everything from being early for meetings, uh, being prepared at all times, uh, having all your you know your equipment ready, having everything ready to go, uh, and just being focused and prepared throughout the day. They're long days here. We, you know, yesterday we were here real early. We didn't leave till after eight o'clock. And then, you know, we started up again here and, and everything that we do, whether it be the on ice skill, the off ice skill, uh, you know, requires focus. And, you know, again, back to those core values that we want to instill in our young players. John Robert.